Have you ever looked up on Mill Mountain and thought, whose idea was it to put that up on the hill? And do you feel like me when you come into the Roanoke Valley from a long trip uh, coming home? You know that you're home when you see the star on the mountain. Well, you're getting ready to find out whose idea it was. Everybody quiet, please. What had happened was on a Tuesday night, I'm just kidding, I don't know if it was Tuesday or not. Roanoke Merchants got together and decided that uh, they wanted to build a star up on the mountain uh, to celebrate and to kick off the Christmas season. Uh, so they got together with Roy Kinsey with the Kinsey Sign Company and Robert Little with uh, Roanoke Iron and Bridge and came up with a plan. So in 1949, they put the star up on the mountain. Now here's a little backstory. They never meant to keep it lit. So they were gonna light it up during the Christmas season, turn it off after Christmas, and just sit up on the hill and become kind of an attraction. Well, it gained so much momentum and everybody loved the star so much, they decided to keep it on. So the star was white for many, many years. Uh, they would change it to red whenever there was a traffic uh, fatality. So in 1976, they changed the star to red, white, and blue to celebrate America's uh, birthday. Uh, so they changed it to red, white, and blue uh, for that year, and then went back to white. September 11th, uh, with the attack on our country, it went to red, white, and blue again. And it stayed red, white, and blue for the next six years. In 2006, it went through a big renovation to upgrade the electrical and a lot of the bulbs uh, because, you know, from 1949 to 2006, a lot of things have changed with our electricity and things like that. So it went through a big renovation. April 22nd, 2007, the star was changed back to white uh, to represent hope after the uh, massacre at Virginia Tech. And today it still remains white uh, for the most part. It's 1,740 feet above sea level. It stands 88 and a half feet, and that's 20 R2D2 stacked together or 12 Chewbacca's. It can be seen for 60 miles in air. So here's how the ceremony went down when they first turned the star on. The star was lit by A.R. Minton, the mayor, November 23rd of 1949. It was actually lit by Roy Kinsey at the circuit breaker. Congress, Congress, oh, Congressman, Congress, Congressman Clifton Woodrum dedicated this Bible verse to the star. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding joy. Matthew 2.10. Green Memorial Methodist Church Choir sang America and the Star Spangled Banner for the opening of the star. James H. Moore, the manager at WSLS, was the master of ceremonies. So from the star, you're about 15 minutes from the Blue Ridge Parkway. There is a little local zoo up here that has a lot of prairie dogs and some a little petting zoo. Uh, they do have some snakes, monkeys, things like that. And actually, on a fun note, a quite a few years back, one of the monkeys got out and was uh, all up in the, the mountain part of it. So <laughs> quite funny. If you are looking to move to the Roanoke area and have questions, feel free to reach out to me at any time. Uh, if you are looking to buy or sell in the Roanoke area, reach out to me also. Uh, I'd love to have a chat with you. Uh, down below, give me your, your favorite memory of the star. Have a super great day.